So, you know, one of the, my biggest things that I think of is that while I make these videos, I don't want any of you guys to be confused or to really, to take anything the wrong way, but it's kind of inevitable because words in general are kind of just like, you're painting a picture, right? And everyone sees a picture differently. They see different things or they interpret it differently. So I just want you guys to know that on this channel, I want to motivate you. I want to give you insight to uh, some good things in life, maybe help you out. But uh, if, I, if you find yourself being confused, ask, okay, don't be afraid to comment and let people, you know, have, share their opinion because I'm not always right. Honestly, I don't know everything. Part of the reason that I come on camera in the first place is because it helps me remember it helps me understand. I'm not always coming here to teach something. I'm coming here to understand myself. And that talking and speaking it out loud helps me understand better. Okay, so I like to share a lot of these thoughts with you, but I'm not always sure all the time myself. So I would appreciate if you, you know, if you have something to say, speak up and uh, try to help me understand so we can all, you know, come together and understand. With that being said, I wanted to make a case today for being grounded and also being calm. And I find myself not always able to experience groundedness or calmness. Um, but I feel that it's one of the best ways to function, to operate from when you are grounded, when you're calm. That is sort of the way to be, it seems, as a human. And it's kind of confusing to think that this is the best way to be because we all often seem like excitement is the best or to be filled with energy and to be really passionate. And uh, I'm, I've realized, you know, throughout the years that it's probably not that the best way to be is from a base of calmness. And then if you want to sort of operate, you know, and go get excited or, or you can, you can always start from that launch pad, but just being calm is pretty good. There's a lot of clarity in calm. There's a lot of peace in presence. I remember, you know, a few Bible verses, I'm going to paraphrase them, but be still and know that I am God. Keep your feet planted on solid ground. Uh, come into my presence. All sort of hinting at being calm, coming into the presence with the feet planted on solid ground. I notice whenever we're anxious or we're thinking too much, we're too heady. We usually are bouncing up on the toes uh, of the balls of our feet. We're never really, you know, step by step. It's always like I, I used to feel when I was younger, I would get very anxious and I would just feel like insecure and stuff. Like people were watching me and, and I wasn't, uh, I was just like, wasn't comfortable in my skin. I would kind of bounce up on the, I would never really, I even have that problem now. Like if you watch me walk, well, I, I kind of tend to bounce up on the balls of my feet without actually taking a firm step. I mean, it's always like, I'm, I'm a little bit ahead of myself. It's like, I'm leading with the head and not with the heart. And so I've, I've actually have to teach myself to relax um, because I'm not usually a relaxed kind of person. And you may even see that in the videos. Like I'm, I'm kind of, let's go. You know, I, I'm, I'm like pumped. And I think that that's not always the best to live your life in that pump state. Now, I think we can learn to use that, that, you know, that motivating, that, that crush, that warrior spirit. That's always good. But I'm, I'm saying it also, also should be from a place, you know, where you feel whole at first. And it's not, a, it's not operating out of, you don't always have to act. You don't always have to fake it. And I don't want it to be out of insecurity. I don't want it to be for you guys, like, one of the things that I don't want you to feel like is that with self-development that you got to play catch up. And I know that it may seem like you're behind. You know, I can talk to a lot of young guys and they think they're behind. It's like, no, man, this is just your life. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Just focus on, a, on what makes you feel good. You know, you were a kid once. Now you're a man. Bring back that childlike spirit, infuse it with the adulthood. Okay, you don't always gotta be super serious. You don't gotta have the best body. 
You don't have to be the best looking or have the, the uh, you don't got to have everything figured out. Just take day by day, man. And uh, try to try to do what makes you happy. Try to be kind and generous. But um, there's no use coming from a place of insecurity. Because then you're going to teach yourself to be unhappy. I really believe that. So, you know, with that being said, again, I think it was Henry David Thoreau. He said, the language of excitement is picturesque at best. You must be calm to utter words of oracles. It's from the calmness that we're able to think clearly. And usually when you're alone, what happens is we're on to the, the very next thing. There's always something ahead of us. There's never boredom. There's never peace. It's wake up. We're, we're taught with the whole grind culture. Always have something in front of you. Next thing, on to the next, on to the next. And so we, we never really have like this nothing going on, right? Nothing going on at all. And I think that when there's nothing going on, that's sort of where the enlightenment is. That's where God is. The peace come into my presence is right now, be present. Your mind will slowly start to understand things better. You will work through things and everything will be made clear because you're not constantly putting, having these new inputs and stimulus into the brain. So now it's able to be calm, even if a, in a place, if you can get to a place that's very peaceful, somewhere in nature or maybe where you live, where there's not a, not a lot of noise, it can actually, I, I feel like, calm your brain waves down. And you, you notice after a couple days, maybe this is why people love going on vacations to some remote island or something, because they get away from all the noise and all the input. And you actually, your brain actually does change. Um, you know, another thing I think too is that listening and not always having to talk is a, a wise thing to do. You can learn a lot. Di Diogenes, I think he has a quote, he said, God gave us two ears and one mouth so that we would listen more and speak less. But Again, it's very hard because we're constantly not training our brain to be okay with being calm. And we may think that we're not, it's kind of scary, honestly, because your ego, when you're alone and uh, there's a lot of silence and you're not just constantly doing something distracted, well, then it has to kind of see itself for what it really is a body of flesh. Blood, bone, sinew. You're just you. And if you've been running from a lot of stuff, which I realized in the past, they'll, it'll come up. It'll come up. But that's good if you can go into it. It'll show you the way. It'll show you kind of what you need to, to fix up. Maybe some, some deeper things that you've been avoiding. And, uh, you know, a couple of ways that I think we don't train our brain to be okay with this sort of rounded state is a lot of music because music has a pump up effect or a, a emotional draw. Music is a big one. Um, and you know, all the other ones, but I, I find that music is a, is a big one for me. Yeah, there's just always something to do. And it can be scary again because you're like, well then how should I how should I be acting? Right? Well you can start being being here, being present. That way you start to be filled with life. And when you're filled with life, it's kind of like a joyful thing. It's kind of, it's kind of like a good energy. It's a good vibe, and you can start to give that vibe to other pe or people. You give life into life. Put life into life. There's another verse in the Bible. It says, 
If you try to save your life, you will lose it. But if you give your life, you will save it. Giving life, kind of interpreted, giving life into life. And so to do that, that we have to plug in and avoid being super distracted and running from ourselves. And uh, I think that it's wise if you experience some bad emotions or you experience like a, a very bad day, maybe just try to take a second to understand yourself first before running and, and trying to find a cope, trying to find something to figure it out or someone else to figure it out for you. Just take a minute, man. Don't run online. Don't look for the next YouTube video. Don't look for a Reddit post, someone dealing with the same thing. Figure yourself out. That solitude is going to teach you everything that you need to know about yourself. And then from there, you, you know, you start developing maxims for life. And you, you get answers. That way when you come up against it again, it's okay. I see the bigger picture. I see the goal. This too shall pass. It's not going to last forever. And it, it really is in that solitude. So don't be afraid of it, man. Don't run from it. Um, I would, you know, I notice, I have a, a hunch that drunks are highly, maybe ADD, you know, just high energy, anxious, anxious people, drunks are. And the hangover effect actually gives them a sort of peace uh, because the hangover effect makes you less energetic. And when you're hungover, you just, you're just kind of numb. And then, you know, when you go to drink again that night, it's like, okay, you're going to, you get to escape. You get to feel what high energy feels like without being anxious. And then it's just a constant cycle. The hangover, it's kind of like a rebirth. You kind of go down into the ashes, into the basement. You're reborn again. You come up out of this terrible feeling. And now you get to experience life without anxiety, without worrying about what people think. And then you do it all over again. But we can sort of begin to feel that that presence on a daily basis and then go from there. And, and be, you know, be okay with ourselves, okay with the person we're becoming we're in our own skin. We don't have to play catch up. I want you guys to know that you don't have to play catch up. You don't have to, you know, try to fake it all the time. You don't got to try to be someone you're not, okay? And uh, I would say to speak, speak carefully. Speak to yourself with love, but speak out loud sometimes. Even sometimes when I'm here, I'll just talk to myself out loud. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm talking to myself out loud. There's just someone recording me or a camera. And that alone helps to understand. So speak to yourself carefully. Figure things out. Go in. And then come out anew. When you're with your friends, maybe when you're with people, take some care to realize this is a relationship. And the relationships are what help make our lives, you know, joyful. So take time to nurture them. But be careful with how you're speaking. Is it coming from anger? Is it coming from a place of, uh, you know, insecurity? I don't know. So you get to know yourself, man. All right? That's all, guys. I hope, you know, maybe this has helped you understand some things. Let me know if you have any questions. And it's a good day. I hope you have a really, you know, we're headed into fall, man. So these are the last sunny days ahead of us. Enjoy them. Winter's coming. It's going to be good, though. It's going to be all right. Life is going to be good. Uh, you know, don't get weighed down by today. All right? Let's keep going. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.